Revelation 432, from the 25th of May 1938. Recognition in the Hereafter Disguise of the Light Beings Self-reproach At all times you are to remember those who have already long since left the earthly valley and had to enter the hereafter in an immature state. They has indeed landed a hard lot, they cannot find their way in the surroundings granted to them. They quarrel with themselves and are so very unhappy, that love must meet them to redeem them, that is to help them to find the right way out of their darkness also there. Where now that the soul fights for light, it is guided rightly and inevitably advances. But the time until recognition is so unspeakably hard for this soul, here on earth, God gave them grace upon grace, so that they should find themselves in faith in the Lord Jesus Christ. There they must still, much more from own strength, strive to reach. That is with own will strive for this recognition because the strength must as yet be supplied to them by the loving activity of the higher spirit beings or by commemoration in love in prayer on earth. There is such a great difference between a perfect spirit being and the soul entrusted to it, that out of such fullness of light it would be impossible to charitably influence the soul around which is still the darkest night. It would inevitably declare the light, but it has to perish under such sudden fullness of light and a complete purification of the soul would not take place. So the light being is commanded to accept a disguise, which makes the interaction easier for the poor soul. And in this garment, which is only slightly lighter than that of the erring soul, the light spirit achieves to connect with it and now seeks to bring it into recognition of its situation. Many possibilities are offered and described to it which are useful for the improvement of its situation. The soul, which has already become so hopeless in its darkness, embraces everything with the most intimate desire to just free itself from the present situation, and so the aspiration after the light begins. The condition of such naked souls are often pitiful, they are left to themselves, and remember their failed lives in agony and self-reproach and an exceedingly great work of love is done on these beings when a little help is brought to them, which people can do so exceedingly easily and abundantly if they remember in prayer these lightless, hard-pressed souls, which on earth, sure out of their own fault rejected all favors offered to them and now exceedingly gratefully accept every smallest help, which makes their situation more bearable for them. If you want to acquire an extraordinary measure of gratitude, then come to the aid of these souls. They languish in darkness and cannot redeem themselves without it. And they will also never be admitted to circles of light until they themselves have the firm will to wrestle themselves from darkness with all their strength and striving for bright regions. And in order to be able to summon up this will from within yourselves, you are to be helpful to these poor beings and, in perpetual concern, remember them in prayer, so that the light may also penetrate there and innumerable beings may be redeemed through love. Amen.